Well, Apple's finally unveiled its iPhone 15, and the rumors were juicier than ever. So did the rumor mill get it right? Did the speculations hold up? The event was preceded by a welter of leaks. So let's get on a quest separating the facts from the rumors and exploring the noteworthy developments that Apple just brought to the table in the form of iPhone 15, USB-C. Well, Apple's recent announcement about the entry-level model of the iPhone 15 confirmed what many in the industry had suspected for a while, the shift from their propriety lightning connector to the widely adopted USB-C standard. This move aligns Apple with new EU regulations and ensures compatibility with chargers used by most Android phones and a wide range of other devices. As anticipated, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max models will feature the faster version 3 USB-C, boasting impressive data transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. This should also enable faster charging capabilities. Meanwhile, the standard iPhone 15 and 15 Plus will come equipped with version 2 USB-C, offering the same data transfer rate of half a gigabit per second as the Lightning connector. In addition to this transition, Apple is set to release a USB-C charging case for its AirPods Pro, complementing their growing lineup of Apple products already embracing USB-C technology. For those concerned about compatibility with their existing non-wireless accessories, USB-C to Lightning converters will be available for a reasonable cost around $7. It's worth noting that the shift to USB-C will not affect various MagSafe wireless charging accessories, ensuring a smooth transition for Apple users. Dynamic Island One of the confirmed rumors that came to fruition was the extension of the Dynamic Island feature across the entire iPhone 15 lineup. The pill animations covering the camera and sensor notch at the top of the screen, initially introduced with the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, received good reviews. While they offer full functionality with Apple's own apps, this feature adds a touch of elegance and uniqueness to the user experience. Titanium Frames The leaked information was spot on regarding the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max models adopting lighter, stronger titanium frames, replacing the previous heavy stainless steel frames. These titanium frames come with a sleek brush look, and Apple claims they make for the lightest phones ever in the screen size category, 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches. On the other hand, the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus retain their predecessor's aluminum frames, but with a twist, new color-infused glass. Apple's attention to detail and design is a hallmark of their products. Periscope Lens while the rumor mill had speculated about a periscope lens for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's important to clarify that it's not a submarine-like contraption. However, it does deliver a boost in optical zoom, going from 3x to 4x for the Pro and all the way to an impressive 5x for the Pro Max. Additionally, a new macro feature for close-up shots adds versatility to the camera capabilities. Furthermore, the Pro Max is set to capture 3D spatial video for Apple's upcoming Vision Pro Virtual Reality or Augmented Reality headset. Meanwhile, the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus received a substantial main camera upgrade to 48 megapixels, along with new low-light features and an automatic switch to portrait mode when taking selfies. The Plus model also enjoys 2x optical zoom, equivalent to having a third camera, enhancing photography options for users. Action button. Apple introduced a new customizable action button for the Pro and Pro Max models, replacing the mute switch. This button can be pressed to access the phone's camera or initiate an audio recording. This addition expands the functionality of these premium models, offering more control at your fingertips. Curvier Design Contrary to some rumors, the cases on the new iPhone models remain largely similar to their predecessors. Aside from the new action button and the transition to titanium on the Pro and Pro Max models, the most notable change is the thinner bezel, which reduces the gap between the display and the case. This design choice ensures that those using cases or wallets for their iPhone 14 models will find them compatible with the new iPhone 15 models. The display sizes also remain the same at 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches. Performance Boost As expected, Apple didn't disappoint with the inclusion of a faster Apple Silicon in the Pro and Pro Max models. These new models boast the A17 Pro chip under their hoods, promising enhanced performance and efficiency. Apple's dedication to pushing the boundaries of mobile technology is evident in these incremental yet essential upgrades. Price hike 
Perhaps one of the more significant revelations was the price hike across the board for the Pro and Pro Max models. Apple seems to be testing the limits of what consumers are willing to pay for these premium devices. The iPhone 15 Pro starts at $999 in the US with 128GB of storage, compared to the iPhone 14 Pro starting price of $899. Meanwhile, the iPhone 15 Pro Max starts at $1,199 for 256GB of storage, a notable bump from its predecessor starting price of $1,099 with the same storage capacity. For those seeking the ultimate storage option, the iPhone 15 Pro Max with a whopping 1TB of storage will set you back a substantial $1,699. The iPhone 14 Pro Max's highest configuration topped out at $1,599. Even the entry-level iPhone 15 sees a modest price increase, starting at $799 compared to its predecessor's $749 base price. This pricing strategy will undoubtedly test customer resolve, especially at a time when smartphone sales are showing signs of slowing down. The smartphone market in the US, for example, saw a 12.1% year-on-year decline in the second quarter attributed to tough economic conditions. Roadside assistance via satellite, an unexpected feature. In a surprise twist, Apple unveiled a new feature that none of the rumor mongers had predicted, roadside assistance via satellite. While the SOS feature, which uses satellites launched by American firm GlobalStar, has already garnered attention for saving lives, Apple is taking it a step further by introducing a roadside assist service in partnership with the AAA, or American Automobile Association. The service, initially available on iPhone 15 only in the US, expands the utility of Apple devices in emergencies, further solidifying their commitment to user safety. And there you have it. A comprehensive breakdown of the all-new Apple iPhone 15, highlighting the rumors that turn out to be true and some unexpected surprises along the way. From the long-awaited shift to USB-C, the visual enhancements of the dynamic island, and the lightweight revolution with titanium frames to the camera upgrades and customizable action button, Apple continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in the smartphone industry. However, with these innovations come a price, and Apple's decision to test the limits of consumer spending with price hikes may present challenges in a market experiencing a slowdown. Nevertheless, the tech giant remains committed to providing a holistic user experience, as seen in features like roadside assistance via satellite. As orders open on September 16th and availability begins on September 22nd, the iPhone 15 models are poised to make their mark in the world of technology. Which of these new iPhone 15 features are you most excited about? Are you ready to make the switch to the new USB-C standard? Or are you curious about the roadside assistance via satellite? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest from Zipek Productions. Goodbye.